Good day, everyone. My name is Mario Jolay. I am the president of MI3. And from the beautiful city of Quebec at the Mining Investment Event of the North, welcome to our interview with Mr. Trey Weser, who is the CEO of Dryden Gold. Thanks for being with us. Well, thanks. Thanks. Thanks for having me here, Mario. Thank you, Mr. Weser. Let's start with uh, in the subject by uh, what's your background? I won't go through uh, all of my background. You'd be falling asleep. But uh, mostly the last six years uh, from 2016, I was CEO of a company called Ely Gold and Minerals. And in 2016, we sold a property that we had and we pivoted the business model there to a royalty company, it became Ely Gold Royalties. Okay. And we built that company up from a $6 million market cap in 2016. And we sold that company to Gold Royalty Corp for $300 million in 2021. Wow, that was interesting. And what was thought about? You are a geologist? I am not a geologist. I am a financial background. So I spent I'm most of my career on Wall Street. Excellent. Working for New York Institution. Mm-hmm. And at that time, um, I guess you finance all kinds of deal. I, I was involved in financing uh, mostly for corporations uh, back in the, in, in the, from the, uh, the 1980 to uh, the year 2000. Yes. So I guess you finance mining projects. All over. And yeah, it was it, actually my background in the finance was not mining oriented. Okay. I got involved in mining after I retired from Wall Street. Uh, became very interested in in gold investing, and okay. in, in maybe two thousand and three, two thousand and four, and uh, and then got involved with uh, started getting involved with the companies. Yeah. Okay. Very good. And Dryden Gold uh, is born from. Your interest to get into the sector, you saw the opportunity, you know, like an undeveloped or unexplored area. Talk to us much more about that. Well, interestingly enough, uh, you know, when uh, we sold the illegal royalties, uh, my intention was to retire. Uh, but some of the investors and uh, uh, and insiders from Ely Gold Royalties convinced me to come back and and put a property package together for them in a underexplored mining camp in in the Dryden area which uh, is over uh, geographically it's it's just north of Rainy River and Hammond Reef and about two hours south and east of Great Bear and Red Lake Mine. So it's in a very prolific camp. The only ones who had actually been doing much work there was a company called Treasury Metal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Treasury had built up a small or a, a large, low-grade deposit. If you're enjoying this video, I'm asking you for one thing, and it's to subscribe to our MI3 channel. We're making a huge effort to bring more life into small cap stocks with a huge focus on mining. So like Comment what your thoughts are on the video as well. And thanks so much for the support. We noticed some activities with Treasury. We saw First Mining do a for a Spring Pole project. But along the trend, uh, lately, Eritas Mining. And you guys are much more to the north. Is that correct? Well, we actually have consolidated property package that... And, and, and one of the reasons this camp has historically been underexplored is it has been very fragmented with the claims all along by different people. When there was historically mined at the turn of the century around 1900, uh, it had about 12 mines on on our property, all operated by different people. So the claims have always been needed to be put together in a package where it can be systematically explored and apply the kind of uh, ge- geological interpretation uh, that uh, that our team has learned working at Red Lake and and Great yeah. Bear. I know that the Red Corp had a presence in Red Lake, obviously. Uh, some other uh, uh, major company, Los Alamos. But uh, how uh, uh, were you? Uh, you know, like close to uh, you know project where the, you you got some land out of the well, we, corporation or and, you know we 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 really it's it's just been a kind of a piecemeal. We started. I started with this uh, with a small group of investors 
early 2022. So really been, as a private company, spent two years consolidating the property package. And that was a combination of option agreements with cross sectors. Uh, we made a, a purchase from a company called Manitou Gold. Okay. Uh, and they had done some some work there. They're the only ones who really have done any any modern day exploration there. And, and then since then, we've added with some other property purchases and some staking and stuff. And today we own uh, a, a very strategic land package. It's about 60,000 hectares, so very large. Oh. And access to the north is Treasury Metals, and they've recently announced a merger with Frank Juster's uh, company called Black Wolf Copper and Gold. So that that project is going to get new life. And then we've also seen a new neighbor come into the camp in Canorland Minerals, who's a yeah. very premier prospecting company. Yeah. And so we're very glad to now see some activity in this camp and the infrastructure there, Mario, is really incredible because the the Trans Canada Highway goes right down yeah. the property. The town of Dryden is a is a mining town. A lot of people who work at Red Lake live in Dryden, and uh, there's a highway from Dryden right down to the main part of our project. It's year round exploration. We were drilling there in November, December, and January this year. Uh, and we were driving a pickup truck to the drill rigs. So, you know, there's no helicopter support. It's, uh, it's really quite incredible where it is. And, and yet the high grade gold occurrences on this property, uh, the Manitou kind of grade, uh, they, I saw some very high grade. Eh? Yeah. It's, it, well, it's a stupid high grade. It, it, they had an intercept of 53,000 grams per ton over, over, uh, a half a meter. One and that also, yeah, but, when that was the full intercept was 3,500 grams of gold over eight and a half meters. So, and only at 75 meters, I want to make it like a 75 meters deep. So, what we're looking at is high grade gold near surface that just has never really seen any modern exploration. 